Hey folks, welcome to the Challenge Post video newsletter. I'm Neil. I'm Richard, how are you doing? And uh, today we want to tell you about some cool stuff that's going on in the hacker ecosystem. So I thought we'd start off with uh, just a, sort of a quick update about Summer Jam. As sure. you know, Summer Jam's kind of coming to a close. We're almost done with it, but um, we have some new stuff that's going on and we just want to tell you about it. Totally, so Summer Jam, Maps' art closed out. We've got 16 amazing projects. The judging's going on right now, but some of the projects are really cool. I'm actually gonna tell you about one of them later. We've got a staff pick from there. Also, the winners are up for Connect With Your Team and Financial Literacy. Really cool projects there, so go and check them out. We're super proud of everyone who's taken part in that. And there's another free Summer Jam hackathons to go, Neil. That's right. So, on July 27th, that is next Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the deadline is, hits right then for the Internet of Things hackathon, the Bionic Hacker hackathon, and your first API. I think, I think there should be a special prize if you manage to do all three of those things together, if you can get one submission to do all three. Maybe we'll see if we can come up with something. That's a pretty cool idea. So we've got some online hackathons going on as well? Absolutely. So um, we've got a new online hackathon this week called the, um, the NIST Reference Data Challenge, and NIST is the National Institute of standards and technology. It turns out that a lot of scientists um, actually rely on NIST open data. You know, maybe maybe it's thermochemical, atomic data, atomic weights, a lot of stuff. But a lot of that data isn't super easy to get to all the time. It's not super easy to access. A lot of people just don't know which data to use and when. So uh, join the challenge and help us build apps that actually extend the usability and availability of some of those data sets. There's $45,000 in prizes, so definitely worth your time. Also, we just uh, sort of changed up the grand prize for Context.io's app challenge. So in addition to working with some great email tools and really turning email into the data for your app, uh, the grand prize is $50,000 in cash, and here's the bonus, a one-on-one -on -one mentoring session with one of the judges. There's and some incredible judges on this Yeah, absolutely. Well, right? uh, there's Fred Wilson, Brad Feld, David Cohen, Josh Baer, and Matt Blumberg. So that's Union Score Ventures, that's Techstars, that's Capital Foundry, that's Return Path. Definitely worth checking out, and uh, don't miss your chance to work on that. The challenge is open for a long time, but get on it as soon as you can. That's pretty amazing. Right, so we've also got some other cool stuff going on this week. Uh, Richard, why don't you tell us about our staff picks? So my staff pick this week was Underground Map. And Underground Map was from our Connect, uh, from our Maps as Art hackathon. And the Maps as Art hackathon, we wanted people to make maps that explain the world as they see them. But these four students, two from the UK and two from the Netherlands, actually made a map of the world we don't see. Right. So that's really fun. So they've mapped all the tectonic plates, the oil pipelines, the gas pipelines. It's a really beautiful map, loads of great layering totally encourage people to check that one out. Right, and uh, I think all the hackers were what, 16 or 17? Yeah, it's really cool. So, really talented group of kids there. What about yours? Absolutely, so from Hack India last weekend, there was a project called Jupiter, and it really sort of caught the, uh, the interest of a lot of people in the office because it was kind of, it combines both iOS and Objective-C programming with JavaScript, and so mm. one of the neat things you can do is you can actually inject JavaScript at runtime into your iOS app. So I think that's pretty neat because it's you know native code with JavaScript and JavaScript is kind of like, I don't know, like the script, like it's basically the language of the internet at this right. point, right? And you're gonna see some really interesting use cases, right? As people start to work on that. So pretty exciting to see what happens there. Yeah, very interesting stuff. So definitely check both of those out. They're on the explore page right now. Just click Explore Software and you'll see them right there on Staff Picks. We also had two more, uh, Pomelo and Genius Sign, so definitely check those out too. Uh, definitely worth looking at those. Right, so uh, Richard, you were once again in San Francisco last weekend. I was what, in what my second doing? home of San Francisco. I was there for HackCon. And HackCon is an amazing event. It's organized by Major League Hacking and Friends. And this time it was hosted by a GitHub in their incredible offices. Did you get a picture in the little Oval Office of replica course that I they did. have? <laughs> My friend, of course. So HackCon is a gathering of college hackathon organizers. And there were 150 hackathon organizers there. And what's amazing about that, Neil, is that's only 10% of the population of college hackathon organizers. So there's organizers. actually 1,500. Yes, 1,500 college hackathon organizers. So really cool. We talked a lot about the state of the college hackathon scene and kind of what was doing there. And what I'm really pleased to see is there's still like a great focus on getting the basics right, making sure these events are just 
awesome experiences that hackers go to. Lots of great discussions around expos and judging. It's a really important area to me because it's a time when people are really using challenge posts quite heavily. So I'm always interested in how we can improve that. And I think you and I are gonna do some more work on the table numbers. Yeah, we definitely wanna invest a little bit more effort into um, this table numbers tool we created so that during the expo, especially at larger hack funds where you can't do demos, you can get your sponsors to where they have to go and they know exactly which projects are relevant to them for things like their sponsored prizes. But even just in general, right? Like you want all your attendees to be able to see all the great projects. Totally. So if you've got um, ideas for that, uh, we definitely want to hear what you have to say about it and any suggestions, or you could just fork our repo for it too. 100%. And actually, I'm glad you brought up sponsors because sponsors are a really important part of this puzzle. I mean, as we've seen the number of events grow massively, what we actually need to do now is make sure that we're bringing more and more sponsors into the fold. So definitely you think there's a, you're going to hear a lot from us over the next few months about you know, ways that you can leverage our tools to add more value to your sponsors. And we're hoping that'll keep your existing sponsors engaged, but also then bring more people in. Right, I mean, it's definitely more than writing checks and putting names on t-shirts. Sponsorship yeah. is a two-way street, and so you want value out of it. Actually, it's a three-way street. Hear me out here. Sponsors need value out of it because they want to know that they're, that they're providing value and they're getting value. The organizers want to make sure they can run a good event, and the students, the hackers that are there, whether or not you're a student, you want to make sure that you're at an event that you're not just being sold to. Totally, yeah, really important. And the best companies, when they sponsor, they have an incredible amount of value to the event. I think our challenge as a community is, how do we help everyone be really great sponsors? Absolutely. So that's pretty much all the time we have today. Uh, just a couple more things we want to mention. Want to start, Richard? Yeah, sure. So Challenge Post is hiring. We've got positions here in New York. We're looking for developers, both senior and junior got marketing positions and we're hiring for sales out in San Francisco. So in a product manager position. Absolutely, a product manager position. So if you want to make hackathons and this your life, come talk to us. Go to jobs.challengepost.com or hit up Neil and I. We'll give you all the information you need. Uh, also a good time of year to get your hackathon ready, right? So right, absolutely. So you want to have that page up early so you can start taking registrations, get the word out. And so if we know about it, then we can tell people about it. Totally. Right. So go to post.challengepost.com forward slash hackathons, start setting up the hackathon. I'll work with you to make sure it's awesome. Cool. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions for our next video newsletter, you want to chat about anything or really anything at all, just uh, hit us on Twitter. Just tweet at Challenge Post and uh, we'll get right back to you. Awesome. Happy hacking. Happy hacking.